Hello and welcome back to another edition to Beyond's wondrous collection of space travel videos. In today's video, we're going to talk about how China plans to take over the space race in 2023. Over the next decade to come, China has come up with its master plan to get ahead in the international space race. China has a long and illustrious history in space exploration, with its first satellite launching into orbit in 1970. Since then, the country has made significant progress in both human and unmanned spaceflight. In 2003, China became only the third country to independently send a human into space, with Yang Li Wei piloting the Shenzhou 5 spacecraft. And in 2011, China's first space laboratory, Tiangong 1, was launched into orbit. China's current position with the international competition, the country that is of greatest interest and concern to the United States is China, which has begun to roll the technological lead that Americans have held for decades. In 2019, China landed a spacecraft on the far side of the moon, a historic first. In 2021, it landed a rover on Mars, becoming the only country besides the United States to succeed successfully deploy a vehicle on the Red Planet. It also has assembled a space station of its own in Earth orbit at a time when the International Space Station is aging, and the relationship between the United States and Russia, the two main partners on the ISS, grew tense as a result of Russia's invasion of Ukraine. Today's space race is also far more dynamic than the one that took place 50 years ago. Instead of just reaching the moon, the United States and China want to mine it, laying claim to the water that exists in the form of ice and other precious resources, such as metals and even oxygen stored in the lunar regolith. During the Trump administration, China's space ambitions were a rallying cry to galvanize NASA and Congress to move with greater urgency. The Master Plan Last year, China's space program put up an Earth orbiting space station and has mounted several lunar orbiting and sample retrieving missions. A third phase of the program to establish an autonomous lunar research station near the moon's south pole is scheduled for 2025. In December, the Chinese government offered its vision for a crewed lunar landing, space transportation, infrastructure, and space governance. China has also announced the goal of landing Taikonauts in the moon by the end of this decade. The United States could be eclipsed by China in orbit unless it unites around a common goal for space as it did during the race to the moon a half century ago, according to a report released Wednesday. China is working to become the world's dominant space power, economically, diplomatically, and militarily by 2045, according to the State of the Space Industrial Base report for 2022, which was written by officials from the Space Force, Defense Innovation Unit, Air Force, and Air Force Research Laboratory. They argue that the United States must quickly act to maintain its advantage over Beijing, including using more commercial technology and setting long-term bipartisan policy goals. China has a long list of ways to disrupt U.S. space operations some of which it demonstrated in 2007 when it blew up one of its satellites in orbit as part of a direct ascent anti-satellite test. Beijing has also proven its ability to rendezvous with other satellites in orbit to disable them and likely has robust jamming, spoofing, and cyber capabilities. According to the Center for Strategic and International Study Space Threat Assessment, released in April. 
Many of China's ambitious civil space program also have close ties to its military space missions. After becoming the first nation to land on the far side of the moon in 2019 and then landing on Mars in 2021, China is preparing to conduct short lunar missions within eight years and send large pieces of equipment to the moon in 2030s. It is also building a space station in low Earth orbit and could become the only country to have an orbital outpost when the International Space Station retires in 2031. Conclusion There is a big difference between China, or any state for that matter, setting up a lunar base and actually taking over the moon. Neither China nor any other nation is likely to take over the moon shortly. It is not only illegal, but it is also technologically daunting. The costs of such an endeavor would be extremely high, while the potential payoffs would be uncertain. Legally, China cannot take over the moon because it is against current international space law. The Outer Space Treaty, adopted in 1967, and signed by 134 countries, including China, explicitly states that outer space, including the moon and other celestial bodies, is not subject to national appropriation by claim of sovereignty, utilizing use or occupation, or by any other means. Be that as it may, China appears to be on track to surpass the U.S. as the dominant space power by 2045 or potentially early unless proactive measures are taken now to sustain our nation's leadership. That was it for this video. We hope you enjoyed learning about it. We'll be back with more exciting space exploration updates for you. Until then, stay curious and keep reaching for the stars, for we are but a fraction of the universe.